What's going on everyone? Mike here. Welcome to another Symphony tutorial. Today we're going to talk about streamlining the order process by using course lines. So what are course lines? Course lines are visual indicators that appear on the kitchen checks and separate menu item courses such as appetizers, entrees and desserts. Who should use course lines? Basically, anyone who wants to improve service and make the front of house and back of house staff more efficient. So how does a kitchen check look like with a course line on it? If you look at the check on the left for table 2, we can see the two appetizers at the top, the mozzarella sticks and the fried calamari, and then the course line entree, followed by the two entrees, crab cakes and medium grilled filet. The chef will take note that this check contains a medium grilled filet and he can properly time the entree to come out at the same time with the crab cakes. On the check on the right, we can see a fire ticket where the server basically tells the kitchen that the table is ready for their entrees. So now let's just jump into EMC and see how we can program course lines. Okay, here we are in EMC. In order to program our course lines, what we're gonna need to add are print classes, some menu items, and also make some changes to page design. All of these are available at the enterprise level, which are where I'm going to program them. But if you need to program them at a lower level, go ahead and do so. The first thing we're going to take a look at are print classes. Let's go ahead and open a print class and see what options we have inside. We can choose a name for the print class and also we have these option bits. We can choose to print on the customer receipt, the journal, the guest check, and also if we want this item to print in red. And after that, we can choose our output. Basically, these are going to be our order devices or kitchen printers. We need to create a print class that will not show on the guest check at all because we don't want our guests to see entrees line or fire entrees and things like that. And then we have to decide where in the kitchen we want it to print. I will choose to have my course lines and fires only print in the expo printer, that way they can coordinate all the other stations. To do that, I'm going to select my expo only printer because it's very close to what I needed to do and I'm going to use it as a template. If you don't have one that is very close to yours, just create one from scratch. Go ahead and click the insert key. I'm going to choose a position here on the bottom so it doesn't mix with all my other ones in order to keep my database clean. So I'm going to send this one to position 150. I'm going to check the box to use a template, the expo only here. And I'm going to name it course and fire and then click OK. And now it is identical to the expo only printer, but I'm going to uncheck these two boxes because I don't want my fire and course tickets to print on the guest receipt. We can leave the journal there if we need to review it in the future. And now I can just save and go ahead and close print classes. The next thing we need to do is we're going to create some dummy menu items. So I'm going to open menu item maintenance and I'm going to click a search in order to populate my database. I'm going to choose a little spot and I'm going to choose it somewhere between a hundred and a thousand here close to my open items. And I'm probably going to go add 500 and I'm going to copy this header at position 500 and then I'm going to name it. I'm just going to put two stars and then enter the header name, which is going to be courses and then put two stars after that. That's just how I identify my headers and then click OK. I'm going to answer no. So now I see my courses here and then I can choose whatever menu item I want. Really, I'm just going to choose this open miscellaneous one. And I'm going to send it to position 501 so it sits right below this one, below my header. So I'm going to enter 501 here. And I'm going to name this one XXXX. So I'm going to put five X's and then a space. And then I'm going to enter entree and then five more X's. Okay, so this is going to be my entree course line. So the servers are going to add their appetizers and then enter this menu item as a course line and then add the entrees. And then I'm going to click OK. I'm going to answer no again. So now I have my first one here for major group. I'm just going to leave it as miscellaneous and also for family group. I'm going to leave it as miscellaneous. I don't want it to mix and mingle with my regular menu items if I'm running reports. So miscellaneous miscellaneous is just fine. 
Next, we'll move to the definition records and we'll see what we have here. For menu item class, I'm just gonna choose food. So I'm just gonna choose menu item class 1001. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change this print class override because this will attempt to send to the kitchen regularly. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna choose my print class that I created earlier, that print class number 150. This will ensure that this does not print on the guest check and it will print only in the expo. For a screen lookup, I'm gonna take that off because I'm actually gonna hard code them on my page screen. I'm not gonna put them in a screen lookup. And then all I have to do is click save. And I'm just gonna double check that the price record is gonna be $0 because I don't want this to charge by mistake. That's perfect. All right, so we have our Entrez course line. Now we can create the rest. I'm gonna keep it simple and just create an Entrez and dessert one. So I'm gonna add a new one. I'm just gonna add five X's and then a space and then five more X's at the end and then just click OK. And I'm gonna answer no. So now that I have my two courses, all I need to do is just add two fire keys. So I'm gonna add, I'm actually gonna go to position 550 just to leave a little bit of space between 502 and 550 in case I need to add more course lines in the future. And then I'm gonna put my five X's and I'm gonna say fire entree and then five more X's. And these X's are gonna appear on the kitchen uh, ticket. They're just gonna pop out for the chef to see them better. Just gonna click okay, answer no again. So now we have our fire entree. All we need is fire dessert. And confirm. So now I have my entree and dessert course line and my two fires. Next, I'm gonna put them on the screen. For that, I'm gonna close menu item maintenance and open page design. I'm gonna open my transactions page. Next, I'm gonna change the aspect ratio to 16 to nine, just to match my widescreen workstations. And then I'm gonna wanna find a spot where I'm gonna add them. I definitely want to have them in the food area. I don't want them to display in drinks or functions or anything else. And here I have all of my food side tabs. If I add them here, for example, if I make the screen lookup a little bit smaller and I just add them in between my header and my screen lookup, then if I go to the appetizers, then they're not gonna be visible. So what I'm gonna choose to do is actually use a button here on the bottom row. So each of the blocks actually is taken up by a button. So the first thing that I need to do is actually change the size of this bottom bar. So right now you see it's a one by nine and there are nine buttons here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change it to a one by 10 and then click okay. And that gave me an extra spot. I'm gonna shuffle these around a little bit. So just move these right. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna copy one of these keys, like for example, the reorder one. All I have to do is copy it, paste it in place. I'm gonna change the color from this olive color. We can probably choose this steel color, okay? And then I'm gonna rename it. And this is gonna be my course line. And now for function, I have touch reorder. So because I have four items here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use something called a local pop-up. Obviously, I cannot put all my course lines under one button, except if I use that local pop-up. So for the functions, I'm just gonna click the little arrow here. I'm gonna search for local, and we have this local menu pop-up. I'm just gonna select that function. And next, I'm gonna click edit pop-up entries. When you click this, you will be able to add as many entries are needed. So I need four, so I'm gonna add one, two, three, four. So you see, we went all the way to four here. If I scroll up, I'm at position number one, so that's gonna be the one that pops up at the top. And for this one, I'm gonna select menu item. And for the menu item, I'm gonna select my entrance course line and then click this little generate key. So to make sure it has a legend so the servers know what they're clicking on. Next, I'm gonna scroll down to the next one. So this is number two. Also gonna change it to menu item. Click the little arrow, 
select my dessert course line, click the generate legend so we have a name, scroll down once more, and just repeat the process until we have all of them here. And finally, the last one. Select fire desserts, generate legend, and then I can close this and save page design. Okay. Now let's just jump to a workstation and see if that worked. Okay, so here we are at the workstation. The first thing I wanna do is click a quick update in order to make sure all my changes came through. Then I'm gonna sign in and I'm gonna begin a fast transaction. I'm gonna order two appetizers, just the chicken nachos and the grilled octopus. Then I'm gonna use my new course line button here to delimitate that I'm gonna send entrees next. I'm gonna go to my entrees section and send my two entrees. And then if I already know them, I can also enter my desserts. So I'm gonna enter my dessert line, go to the desserts, order my two desserts, and then just go ahead and hit send. So when the kitchen receives that, they already know what all this table will have. The appetizers will be fired automatically and be served to the table. Once the table is ready, I'm gonna go back into the system. I'm gonna go back to my button and then fire the entrees. That way the entrees will arrive just on time. So they are not on top of the appetizers and they are not too late either. All I have to do is hit send and the kitchen will receive that ticket and start sending the entrees. Then I can just open it one more time, go to my course line, fire my dessert, and send. If we take a look at the kitchen check, we can see the entire order. The chef can be prepared if any of the items take a long time to cook, such as a well done steak. Once the appetizers were served and ready, the kitchen received the fire entree slip, which prompted them to send the salmon and the bronzino. Once the guests finished with their entrees, then they received the fire dessert check, which prompted them to send the apple pie and the fruitcake out. This will ensure that none of the dishes come to the table before the guests get a chance to finish their previous course. This will create a much better customer experience and a much more efficient kitchen. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below. Also, please let me know how you use your course lines in order to make your restaurant more efficient. If you are interested in more Symphony tutorials, we have created an entire platform that will teach you everything you need to know in order to maintain your Oracle Micro Symphony POS system. You can also ask for help from our programming team. You can access everything by visiting simsupport.online. And as a special thank you, I am also including a coupon code for you. You can find all the details in the description below. Leave a like if you found this helpful and subscribe to the channel. Thank you very much for watching and have a great day.